All right, so I want to share a few things with you um, that we went over opposed to February and opposed to November. This will be video number three then. Um, so some of the things you got to understand when you're, when you're discussing in November, you're discussing new rules, you're discussing new partners, you're discussing new coaches, you know, all those things. You're, you're, you're shaking the dust off, you know, you're getting some air in your lungs, you're, you know, getting your legs back, you know, all those kind of things. Um, you're welcoming new members into your crew. Those are the kinds of things you discuss in November to elevate to February. In February, you know, the biggest thing you can under, you can take into your pregames is one, know your audience. You know, Chad and Dave and I have all worked together in the past. So we don't have to go over where someone stands at a timeout. We don't have to go over um, how do we handle uh, the mechanics on whether I cover the corner from lead or not. Those are things we don't have to go over. We need to really focus on the task at hand that's gonna make us better. We assume, you know, I like to refer it to when I first taught my son how to cut the grass when he was, you know, a teenager. He cut the grass and I, and I, and I watched over him as he cut the grass. And then as he grew from the first time he cut the grass in late March, early April, and then when he cuts it the last time in September or October, I don't have to watch over him as much. I don't have to teach him how uh, small things here and there. Hey, well, don't forget, get a little closer to a tree, whatever it is. But that's how we have to handle from November to February, March. Those are just different situations. Please, if you've learned anything from this video series, understand this, that every day is not the same. Every game is not the same. The only thing that is the same that is consistent is the rules. When the rules are the same, they don't change for us. We're just going to adjudicate them consistently, the same every time. But people are different. People have had tough days. People have had good days. People are struggling with injuries, not just us officials, coaches, players, whatever that is. So handle every pregame to the best of your ability with the changes that you have. I call it being a chameleon. Come in. Find a color that you need to be. Everyone needs to find a color they need to be as a chameleon and blend in nicely. We, if you want to be a quality crew chief, whether it's in November or in February, you need to find a way to when people walk in the locker room, they have a sense of ease about them. As soon as they walk in the locker room, you've got to give off some sort of aura, vibe, juices, whatever you want to call that, where people go, oh, okay, my crew chief's here. It's good. If they're if you're walking in the locker room, or they are, and you're already in the locker room, and they get up tight, you're not a good crew chief. You need to work on that. Those are things that are going to help you. Those are the things that are going to give you the best out of each official in your in your crew. It's going to get you the best reactions with coaches. Those kind of things. It's going to give you the. It's going to give your partners a chance to succeed when it comes to dealing with coaches or players or or scorers table. Um, so keep those things in mind. And, you know, an official friend of mine, Chad Ozzy, told me one time that if, if my best official, so let's just say whatever, right? One, two, three, right? I am not perfect by any means. But if my best game is 98% accuracy, I'm 90, if 100% is perfect, which no one, and let's say I'm 95. And Chad's best game is 80. That's the best he's going to do right now in his experience and his, his uh, just play calling. That's just where he's at in his education of the game. I, as a crew chief, had to find a way to get him to succeed in 80 tonight. If, cause, because if he gets 70, I haven't done my job. I need him to get his 80 tonight. Even though it's not perfect, that's the best he can do. That's the best of his ability. And he may stretch to an 81 or an 82, but if I have been able to help or a crew has been able to help our partners reach their highest elevation for that night, we've done our job. Whether that be in comfortability, you know, I always talk about empowerment. You need to make sure your partners feel empowered to speak up, to speak up and go, Jeff, that's incorrect. I know I'm speaking to a 15 year division one official, but I gotta, I gotta tell this guy he's incorrect. You have to give off that responsibility to others to say it's okay to tell me I'm wrong okay 
Those are the things I want you to take into your pregame. Those are the things I want you to, to work on elevating through November all the way to March. And you want to be a quality crew chief. Those are some key points. And uh, I wish you guys the best of luck. Talk to you soon.